presence much better in lane already in the situation where they were favored. Yeah. Meteor's coming down, Root looking for Papa Chow, but the Black Shield's gonna protect him. Here comes Meteor's gonna try and move it out, but not far enough. There's one strike, flash forward, looking for the Root. Flash from Papa Chow could be problems, and now the stun's gonna land in from the Braum. First blood over, and Cody, of course, grabs it. Of course, he got set up there. Boom! Whoa! On top of the one that I guess they didn't know that Cody was simply clearing minion waves with his W. Yeah, it's funny because you look at all the war coverage, but hold on, I'll tack. Yep, no root landing. Dardoff now here on Stoffel. For Meteos, he uses the left bounce for the ulti. Tags Aphromoo for, for the stun. Rooted there as well by the binding. Now the chance from Papa Chow coming out. Gets the ulti down. Cody gonna try and turn it back around. Morgana, so squishy, but Cody can't quite find the angle on that last little shot. Hits Altec. That was Huni. Huni uh, was TPing to potentially help mid, but look at this. Meteos. Again, looking for a black shield already popped though. Good slap together. Left bounce gonna move Papa Chow back into the team. Should be a kill and is Meteos able to collect it. Dardoch just can't save yeah. it. One of those uh, top laners that once he gets an advantage, he's gonna start taking your jungle camps. Oh, Meteos out again with a stretching strike. Cody lets it rip for the ulti. Oh, stun forward there onto someday. Underneath nice. right here, they're going for a bold play on the Baron with this small advantage they have. There's the TP. Someday's in, he has, does not have peace, excuse me. It's gonna be pretty risky, but have Tooney is around him. But Nash goes over, does go to Sunday, but the fight is gonna break out. Meteos on the other Damn. side He's gonna get moved to stun lines on the front line as Cody gets caught. Rift, Realmwalk gonna try and move them out, does save one, but it's only Ryu that gets out to safety. He and Sunday is the same. The Ryu, those who watch this exchange began. I mean, 100 Thieves, gutsy call to try for this 50-50. Yeah, watch Cody's son here, because he just gets slammed back by Mooney, jumped on, walloped there, doesn't flash away, and then he gets stunned afterwards. And Aphromoo actually dies to the chain from Morgana. The chain from Morgana as he was going through kills him, so his body ends up on him. You guys just take care of business, because 100 Thieves, their composition isn't really built for split, but look at that catch Cody, on to Cody! Cody had these flashes as well, the CC is just gonna keep running, and Dardock able to get that kill. Okay, now there far. is this here who can just power down objectives. Alltech is gonna put down this trap line. They're still gonna fight for mid priority here. Fox gonna play. Fight. Someday pop the stone plate. Those very tanky force to flash out. Though as Ryu tries to get some splash into the back. Yep. 100 Thieves gonna try and rush it down. Dardoch not gonna make it into the pit. Aphromoo looking for the distant gauge. Goes down. Feeds from Sunday. Seguils on the back. Here comes the Realm Warp out. See you later, 100 Thieves. He needs to join. Pressing those minions in. Trap there from Altec trying to prevent any sort of follow up. Throw the Rune King pop. There's a stun in onto Sunday. He popped the stone plate. Meteor stone. So gonna try and make stuff happen. Gonna look for them together, but the black shield under Huni will continue this play. Meteor popping that stasis, trying to get out, but he's not Whoa. gonna be so lucky. Popped in the bloodless 100 Thieves. He's gonna turn around and maybe try and save them someday. Mid fight TP. He's gonna save Meteor who so goes back in. And now Cody finds the snipe under Huni. What a turnaround from the Thieves. Well, I believe it. It's not super substantial to watch this fight again. Yeah, I thought Cody's son would be the target here for Dark. Ultimate, but they say it's time to go all in onto someday. They get him so low, but the gargoyle stone play pops at the right time. And then Alltech doesn't move forward, can't really chase after. And then Meteos, he popped the stopwatch. He uses the ultimate to try and get away. But then someday, you see, he's just getting a lot of HP back here. And nobody's really focused on what they can do to stop this. And Papa Chow flashes out of the way. And Huni's the one who's funneled them all in one, one area. Someday, but not a big deal. Damage. Well, oh. not a big deal just yet. I'll take. Gets yeah. the black shield late, but it doesn't matter. The black shield down, though. As soon as it goes down, I expect them to open up. Here they go. 100 Thieves know their timing. He's going to look for a little bit more. Someday taking too much he's damage. He's going up at the front, but Afro with the save. Someday going to flash out, but Afro. Hoonie! No, he's the one taking fit. Here comes Hoonie. Look at the slap down. Cody gets out there with a the QSS, but Afro's dead. So much damage in the front line. It's only the carries left, but Demonte, he wants more. Dardock also chasing, but the damage is enough! The Comet gets the kill off of Cody Sun's gym! Yes. Medios is here. TP and in. TP. Uh, this is risky from Rango Fox. They're gonna try and pick a fight, but they maybe don't know Cody is here. The block. damage is massive. Look at the grenades! Ryu goes down to Altex damage. That is enough. Whoa. Oh my god, Demonte! Walk around if he wants to feast it, and Medios at the same time. This thing is going down. Not even an attempt at stealing it there. 100 Thieves maybe just playing for the bigger prize. Ryu was also not there. Yeah, it's also Echo Fox. It's just a Cloud Drake with this, so it's not that huge of a burn. And remember, the burn is applied on basic attack. Ooh, oh, that ult hit Altec. Meteos maybe gonna go Meteos. for here. The roots are so long, but Altec, he's left by the the other side. Left bounce, drags them all in! Meteos takes him down! 100 Thieves have slayed the Kaelin, and now they're gonna try and wipe the rest of the fight. Ryu, he takes down Huni. Demonte is gonna get bound up as he does zip away to safety, but Ryu, he's chasing, he wants Papa Chow! Yeah, this Baron dies way too quickly. Oh, 
Usually you don't take a fight against an Elder Dragon. I can feel the playoff by. They just need to do a couple more steps. Get some of these inhibitors down. Continue to force plays. Aphromu tanks. Dante is so up. low. Yeah, he got poked out. I think Cody was looking for the snipe, but mm -hmm. Kamonte's going to go back to base. He's going, but Fox have done a great job wave clearing for as long as they can. Finally, a weakness is exposed there in mid lane, but Hooney almost high and looking for something. Black Shield's going to mean he goes offensive. Sunday, the target once again, the root lands on the left row. Media back Whoa. to the backline once again, but Dante kicks him out of the ultimate. Outtake is so low, but he's still living on the other end of the fight. A root from Cody finds Hooney, but no follow up damage. The Medios. You're not expecting him from this angle. The Black Shield was used on the Hooney. Here it comes. The Drake goes over the Echo Fox might have enough team fight power. Meteor, he can't charge in. Hooney maybe sees the fight looking to go. Uses the ulti in place as he's rooted. Cooldown's being lost, but Fox do get the dragon at least. Wait. Meteor's here again. Funneling them through the choke point. Who's the lock? Oh, oh, the lock! Zyrene, they're going to look to scoop him back, but the flashes are there for Echo Fox. Being though from Hooney, this could be dangerous. They will get the Baron, but what else will happen? Meteor's does smite it down, but how do they get out? Well, Fox want to fight. Really oh, that rupture from Sunday. Sick under Dardock to deny the first engage. Is Demonte gonna slide through? He's no. right next to Ryu! Hey, way too much damage, has to go, he knows it as well. Still, someday on the front side, eating damage, a stone plate is popped. Meteos tries to dive this game, his own stone plate is popped. Hooney, looking for the big engage, rupture again, disengages from Sunday. Buy from us, Zyrene. <laughs> you know, they kind of buy something, like, ooh, that looks shiny, but oh, never mind. Team fight starting, Dardock, rooted up. Hooney. Oh, it's very out. Again, not that tanky stun lands in. The Black Shield was late. Someday, face taking the damage. Oh, there's another knockup. The next shot lit misses, though, from Jin. And 1400 that is from that ultimate. Oh, my God. So even if the next time, you can see this inhibitor once again under threat. Echo Fox do want to defend, though. Dardock in the front lines, taking up a lot of damage. Medios Ooh. again, looking for the backside. Kidnap gets two down. Let's bounce Demonte. this good. Demonte falls. Ryu joins in. Hooney, now the front line is going to get chained. CC. 100 Thieves find two clean kills. Medios has been playing. There's now 24 seconds on Demonte. Still a long time left. They gotta hit these turrets. Aphromu, ooh, cleanses out. There's another up from the Dardic, but it's only Dardic. They're gonna try and tie up Altec. Gets left together. Ryu takes him down. And that's, that'll be all she wrote here for the Thieves. They complete the con. I don't think Fox can respawn. They're gonna look for that another Nexus Tower. Papa Chow, he's gonna go down. Dardic will fall. That's an ace for 100 Thieves. And I wanna put it in Game of the Week, but there's no way you miss this. 100 Thieves. Sneaking all the way up and stealing a playoff buy. Oh, I wouldn't even say they stole this. They earned this playoff buy. What a slugfest. 52 minutes of back and forth action. I want to know what the biggest goal lead in that game was because it cannot have been like over three or 4,000 most likely. That was such a close affair. The end of the game is just a 6,000 gold difference after all was said and done for 100 Thieves, but it didn't matter. They're, everybody's sitting with extra gold in their pockets. That game was on a knife's edge. It comes down to the small mechanical things in those fights. Well, remember, if you guys like tiebreakers, hey. we've got some more. We have maybe less than we could have had, but if memory serves, that was so fun, we're gonna do it again. At yes. a later date. Yes. These two teams will now play for first. That is a match you do not want to miss here. And you can see Echo Fox, that is a stressful game to be in because 